DIY goes into accessorizing too. So why buy a lamp when you can make one out of old vases? Old vases, old liquor bottles, you can do this yourself. So you're gonna go to the hardware store, you're gonna buy a kit. A light so kit? A light kit, a lamp kit. Make <laughs> sure you get the wattage that it calls out on that kit for your bulb. Number one. Well, number one, yeah, number match one, that. Match it, okay? You take any vase, okay? Color, size, shape, whatever. Doesn't matter. And you're gonna go ahead and drill through the bottom, carefully, slowly through. Gotcha. Now, we built this one up with just like little furniture pads. Yeah. So you build it up so the cord clears. So it has a base and you the cord up, can clear. And you come up and you thread through, okay? You're gonna have two cords. So you're gonna thread it through. You're gonna take a washer, okay? Now you gotta get the right size washer. See how this one fits right over? You gotta get one. So if you need a bigger one for a bigger opening, that's what you got. They sell washers in these little bins. Yes. And looks like jewelry. You, yeah, yeah, it really does. And you just literally, you can bring the vase or the bottle with you and just walk down the aisle. You're totally. like, oh, that one fits. Right. And always do that. Bring it with you. Then you're gonna secure it on with a bolt. And that'll take me an hour. So secure it on. <laughs> okay, the bolt goes in, and then you get to play electrician without electrocuting yourself. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put this on. This piece here, I just wanna show the detail on this. This is where you connect your wires. So you're gonna unscrew the screws, right? Right. And each wire gets to sit right in there with the screw, and then you screw it in. So yeah, it's like you could tag team with this. When you are not plugged into the wall. <laughs> yeah, remember that. Remember that. Either way, with a steady hand, you push that in, and then your wires are connected, one and two. Right? Boom. Then your light bulb goes in, this and goes you on. The harp and again, on. have fun with your shade. It's called a harp. Yes, and yep. then have fun with the shade because look at this. Now you got this, now you got so this. So cute. And it's a really fun DIY. <laughs> my favorite is brass, okay? I want to like wrap my own body in this stuff. This is going to be your new best friend. It's called brass shim stock. See how thin this is? Paper thin. Right, paper thin. So you can take this and you can wrap it over anything. So here's what you do. You take it and you're gonna use an adhesive. So this adhesive you're gonna put onto the brass shim stock and then you're gonna put it on the actual surface, okay? So whatever you're doing, if you're doing a cabinet, if you're doing a table, if you're doing your body, <laughs> your entire body. What you did you do on Thursday yeah, night? I've seen everything on Netflix. <laughs> you wrap yourself I'm in gonna brass shim stock. I'm gonna paint myself in brass shim stock. <laughs> I mean, I'm really gonna try it. So, <laughs> Um, so okay. you gotta wait for this to get tacky, okay? Five minutes. Then both surfaces are really sticky and tacky, and then you're gonna go ahead and apply it to a cabinet. Now this is an inset cabinet. You could do it with a, just a flat panel, and then what you do, scrape it just like you are, real hard, push that seam. You could also wrap the entire cabinet with it, cut the corners like, like you'd wrap a gift. So that's the fun part, okay? I am an excellent gift wrapper. Santa calls me every year. See? My entire basement is covered. This would be the best for you. So now, once this is on, you could leave it real shiny and shimmery. See the, like, all the texture you're getting? Yeah. In this, you could it's leave It's really it. cool. But I dig this. This is vinegar. So, after you're done with that, you can come in and you just spray it with vinegar. Okay, wow. you're gonna let this stuff sit like for 24 hours, okay? And, and then it, 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 it patinas. It patinas. So you're it's causing amazing. what would maybe Look be caused. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that bar. That bar is the finished product. Wow. Yes. So you can patina it to your desired finish, or you can leave it really glossy. But either way, wrap your cabinets, wrap your tables, wrap your cellars. That is amazing. Yeah. So, Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Now this, anybody can do. So our this homes. This is brilliant. I like this because our homes, you know, we're paying 900,000 to buy them. And then we're putting three, 400,000 in to renovate them. Right. So anywhere we can save, we want to save. We have tons of leftover tiles from all of our jobs. Why exactly. go buy more if we can mix and match and do it in a really artistic way? So these are marble ceramic mixes. You've got a crackle finish on one of these. You can stack them in so many different ways. You can border them. And can't you even buy from tile dealers? Their yes. seconds or scraps are discontinued. All the time. Instant. Yeah. So you'll get a discount. Yeah. Even if you're starting from scratch, you can take a mix and match approach and save a ton of money. You want to come work for me? Yes, I do on my <laughs> weekends. Like, I'm into this, but I hope you guys are into this because it's such a great way to save money. And honestly, Every penny counts because it comes oh, back look, in your look, profit. Look, look, look. Oh, there's look a good example. That. Those are very intricate ones. But that's, that's amazing. Really